our dear viewers we once again welcome you to imokili.tv i'm john rich mulinde together with gedia kasirye gwanga brigadia salute to the viewers thank you viewers kasirye gwanga how are you doing uh, brigadia civil servants pay delay as reading papers how do you cope up with that situation sir I don't know nothing about civil servant. Never been told. Okay, but you're paid by the government. So if your salary delays, how do you cope up with that situation? Military salary is never delayed. Otherwise, you have you 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 would have a problem with your <laughs> if it delays. Uh, Brigadier, I recently saw you on TV and in papers having an altercation with the police on the police when they are exhuming a body on your brother's farm. How did it end? You asked them. You asked them. How can you tell me a trained police officer? that you work on courses. So, it ended well. You also don't say that's why you want to... Exactly, nothing away. came out. Me, I told them, you did. We bury people six feet underground. Now, you, when you get to six feet and you don't find nothing, sorry, and what happened? Nothing. That was stupid. This is what I'm worried about with our country. We're having people, a major officer, a police officer, trained, and work on costs. Does it make sense to you? Question ground. Uh, was politics involved in that issue? No. We were rich. I, I don't know what they were after, but I think they wanted to get some money from my brother. They never knew that he was my brother. So when I went in, can you imagine even a member of parliament, a lady called Seninde, also came in and said, the ghosts have said. Can you imagine? And that is a member of our parliament. Now, Brigadia, most people in the developed countries see Uganda as a violent country. It is a very violent We are not country. violent. They want to depict us as violent people again. It is because of this police brutality, mob justice. That's why they are saying Uganda is very violent. What should be done to... Who are we dealing with anyway? To have a break is the violence. The generation today, I've been telling people, this generation was created by the world. At your age, I don't know how old you are, but wars create different people who created what we failed to do was to realize what we are dealing with. And that is a problem we have with you today. The generation that, even, that was created by war. It is the one which is violent. Exactly, they are violent. So no what? discipline, no family values, all that kind of stuff. Like the way me, I grew up, my dad just looked me in the eye and I was just crumbled. <laughs> the whole thing is about poverty. That's why people are becoming violent. Exactly. A hung, hungry person. Is a very angry man. Not. Yeah. Let's go back 
to the countryside. <coughs> eh? Like in the manifesto, the president, President Yuri Museven has got a manifesto. He talked about mechanization and irrigation. Look what the climate today. We've got water flowing all over. The Egyptians are now threatening us over water. Our water. Have we used it for irrigation? Let's go, you know, the technology is there. Now, behind you there, there is a lake. Fresh water. Is it being used? Utilized? Let's get serious. You guys, you say you, you, you've gone to school, you've done everything, you're in the 21st century, but you are, you are not in touch. Because you are still on the violence. People on the social media claim that you, together with Kakoza Mutale, you used to apply violence on people. Came I never them. applied. Don't connect me with Kakoza Mutale. Kakoza Mutale to me is a civilian. Me, I joined the army when I was 20 years old. Kakoza Mutale, they came up. I was in prison, by the way. <clears throat> okay, but do you think that act of caning and like applying violence... never cane nobody. Okay. Can it endear people to, to the president or to anyone else? Endear you work? to who? To, uh, to any person. No, you never endear yourself to anybody. Just tell him you are doing something wrong. So because I'm telling you, never can people. That's why you are even, you know, associating me, Brigadier General Kasie Gwanga, with Major Mutalu. Give me a break. <laughs> Those are civilian soldiers. Okay. Uh, Brigadier, during the Sejusa's recent interview on the Voice of America, he said one of the reasons he decided to leave Uganda was that he had enough with the violence in Uganda. Why did he kill people? He came in people. the north. <laughs> Ask Omar Atubo. He killed them. But he said it is violence. That yeah, you don't turn around. You don't turn around. Just you think people forget. And today you are saying. But Brigadier, as you Brigadier, can you leave the country because of violence? Not me, Kasi Egwanga. Why should I run away? I'll never run away. If it's violent, I'll go violent and I'll go to the end of it. Still on Sejisha's issue, he's claiming that the security is training him. The Nifunza has got his own problem. Wherever he is, he's in America, he's <coughs> in Britain, he's everywhere. But is he is he intimidated? Who is intimidating him? him? He should be intimidated when he's inside here. Why don't why doesn't he come here? But they are following him, they are tracing him. No, let him come back here and then we talk about it. Is a general officer. You cannot just arrest him. So what advice do you give him? What message? Come back home. <laughs> then we talk it out. Okay. Exactly. Come back home. We talk it out here. Okay. A lot of people think like think that you and said you sir, you publicly described opposition to the alleged Mohoz project. Are you actually playing a reverse psychology? Mohoz was playing about. He was hiding behind his father's work. <laughs> what could you say about that? He should come out as Mohoz, not behind President Museven, because President Museven is his dad. Was he, don't buy that was he Mohoz who was playing that psychology? I don't know. And I came out publicly. Are you still opposed to that project? Definitely. And by the way, if he comes out to the public and he wins, I will support him. Aren't you intimidated of opposing him? Me? Yeah. <laughs> you don't know Kasi Egwanga. Mohoz, 
Moses is just a kid who joined the army. I don't know how he joined the army. <coughs> Today is a brigadier general. I'm a brigadier general. Me have got 42 years service behind me. He's got 12 years service behind him. So what do you talk about? What do you say about that? Uh, brigadier, now that there are some killing sphere going on in the countryside, now like in Budu and Kochi. What killing? People are being killed. We normally see on newspapers and... No, all over the world people are yeah, being, being killed. killed. How was it just, you talk about two people, you talk about three people. We are not, we are part of this planet. Uganda is not, and you know, why do, why, do you, why do you want to think Uganda is special, that things like those can't happen here? Okay, now like in the villages, as a presidential advisor on security, mm. how can that issue be handled? It's very hard to handle, but if it's two, three killed, there's nothing you can go about it. Don't you think that Uganda can turn out into a chief of sorts? No, like Kong, in Kong, how people are just No way, killed. no way. Ugandans are very civilized people, <coughs> like you, who is interviewing you. We are civilized people. Those are incidents happening around, but you cannot say Uganda is turning a violent country, no way. Taking care of you guys. In Africa, huh? the problem you are having, you are having a problem of malnutrition, People are, are shunning subsistence farming and they are just draining in the city, being a lot of na nothing. And they are also scared in their villages because of the killings. What can be done to pull people back to okay. the villages? Do you remember the parliament? The manifesto of NRM talks about mechanization of agriculture. They talk about irrigation but for the last two years these guys have been shouting in parliament have they been shouting about the manifesto about mechanization when i was a governor of this district i introduced well, what is the name of this district is it was in Bende district now they you know they were coming up with districts and all that now this is michana district but when i heard it was and I, I, I really worked it, and I introduced mechanization system. I had only five tractors, but people really enjoyed it. So what can it's be leadership. To what we are lacking boys. here is leadership. In the village, in the countryside. In the countryside, it's leadership. Because you, you I can see. You are in the country. You've side. seen where I live. So, what can be done to pull at least those people dwelling in slums to come back to the countryside? They don't want to come back here because of the infrastructure. When you look at the roads, <coughs> there's no electricity. There's no nothing which can, you know. Let's see. Agriculture and land issues. Mm. How can Uganda? fix her land ownership system to best serve the interests of the Ugandans. That's the problem. Me, I'm a Mukopi. You know, Mukopi will never own land. A peasant. A peasant. Uh -huh. Like where we're sitting now, I bought it. I cannot venture into that one. There is none tava. You can go to none tava and ask her about land issues. That you might be having an idea. What idea? Of how it can people can fix that land no. ownership system. No. I might be a severe gwanga. I cannot venture into the land issue. Okay. Let work it out. If you are made a president for one day, what would you change first? I am not. Yes? Discipline. There is no discipline now. This in the country? Yeah. So how would you change it? When I tell you, don't do this, you don't do it. 
So the first thing you do is to change the display. The display. So how do you want people to be behaving? Like normal people, normal, you know, you've got to be, you know, when you're told, when they tell you, Tofukawan, then Tofukawu. Then you face me. <laughs> How do you like that one? Iron hand. Iron hand. Yeah. Brigadier. You know, when you look at me, I've been in the military for the last 42 years. It's this thing. When I took Mbende, Mbende was in Shambles. It took me just six months to change it. Today you can ask anyone in the Mbende district about Kasiye Banga. They will talk to you with a smile. Brigadier, what legacy do you want to leave as Kasiye Banga? Yeah, I want them to remember me. For what? What legacy do you want really to do? My lifestyle. To bakudu kiriye kochi. Lifestyle yangu jambera mbera kugamba. You live with the people. Bera mbantu. Bana abantu. The people. The people. Go sit down with them. Find out exactly what's happening. Because they will tell you. Exactly, Aronda is making a mistake. When I was going for the district, I had to put in, you know, some money. No. I never used money when I was politicking. I asked the army to give me the for five years. And they gave me the five years. If Aronda wants to be a minister, he should get authority from the armed forces that we're giving you five years. Those five years, forget about us. So you want him to, to be on one position? Let him get a letter from the military giving him leave for five years. Otherwise, you guys, you, I don't even know what you, you are talking about. There is no way you can be a minister. At the same time, you are a member of parliament representing the military. What the hell are you talking about? Serving ma two masters. Two masters. Of course I'm Bibi Bibi. Brigadier, as you are winding up, what advice do you give to people watching? All those in the diaspora. And the country and the and world the country at large. At large. Yeah. Let's talk about what we, what we are. Let's Stop pretending. Okay, the, this business of technology, the internet, you can see this room here, you can see this, you know, the Nokia expensive machine. <coughs> no. Come back. Come back home. Agriculture. You have seen it yourself. You can see. You're practicing it. Exactly, because when you, when you ask me questions about those kind of things, I'll just bring you here and say, this is what we should do. Agriculture, we need food. You know, when people are hungry, they get really hungry. You know what? I repeat it to you, wherever you are. Our dear viewers, that has been Brigadier Kasli Bwanga.
you have had his views. Thank you very much.